let's take a look at what's inside your remote patient monitoring kit. In the box, you'll find your setup guide, your medical device, and a smartphone. Both your smartphone and medical device have been set up for you. Now, let's turn on your smartphone. In the box, you'll find your smartphone and its charger. Remember to always keep your smartphone charging so your readings will always be transmitted. Let's turn the smartphone on by pushing and holding the power button on the right side. Your phone may take a minute to power on. Once it powers on, it's ready to go. Now it's time to take a reading on your medical device. In the glucometer box, you'll find the meter, two boxes of test strips, two boxes of lancets, a USB charging cable, a testing solution, and a lancing device. Charge your glucometer using the provided USB cable. The charging port is located on the left side of the meter. First, power on your glucometer by pressing the button on the right side. You'll see it light up. Insert the test strip into the meter strip port with the contact bars facing toward you and the white arrow facing up. Then, prepare the lancing device. Snap off the lancet device cap. Insert a new lancet firmly into the lancing holder cup. Twist the lancet cover off. Replace the lancing device cap. Set the lancing level Cock the handle until it clicks. Before obtaining your blood sample, clean or wash your finger. Now, obtain your blood sample by pressing the lancing device against your index finger. Press the release button to puncture the site and gently squeeze your finger until a drop of blood forms. Apply your blood sample to the test strip by holding the edge of the test strip to your drop of blood. Wait for your result. Your glucometer will display your results once completed. It'll automatically sync with your smartphone so your doctor can view them. Your smartphone will also let you know that the readings have synced, like this. Your readings have been transmitted successfully.